Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an image like this rotate in three dimensional space. This is being done with only HTML and CSS. To get started, we're going to need three files. We're going to need the image you want to rotate, a simple HTML page, and a CSS page. So let's get started. I'm going to open up that HTML file. The only thing to really note here is that I've already linked the CSS page. All we really need to link that image. I'm go image. Thank you. The hardest time typing on this keyboard today. Give it the alt tab. For our purposes, we're going to give it a class to make it easier to call. Give it something like image. That's all, all, all we really need. So I'm going to save up uh, HTML, pop over to the CSS. Now, when doing CSS animations, it works with keyframe animations. So, like all keyframe animations, you're going from one point to another point and it's going to be trained, the motion is going to be trained in the middle. So with this, we have two basic keyframes, this and this. So one where it's completely flat and then one where it's rotated 360 degrees. So how we do this in CSS, so we start by finding the keyframes with tag, keyframes, the identify is the name of the animation so we're just going to call this spin. We're going to do this in the syntax of going from something to something. So we want to go from, and we're starting, or should I say we're animating the transform property, rotating along the Y. So we're going from 0 degrees. We haven't rotated at all, the image is completely flat. From that, we're going to transform rotate Y again. It's the only property we're working with within this animation. This time, instead of we're not going to 0 degrees, we're rotating completely around 360 degrees. That's the basic animation. So from there, we need to call the animation. We do that by getting the element in which we want to apply it to. So we're going to apply it to this class, image spin or image spine. So we're going to go class, image spin. We need to give it a few properties. The first one is the animation name to be defined up here as spin. The next one is animation timing function. If you've ever done any uh, animation, this would be the equivalent to easing. So we want it to go the same speed in both in and out. So we're going to leave that as linear. Next property we want to affect is animation iteration count. This is how many times the animation will play. We're going to do infinite so it won't stop. And then the last is animation duration. And this is how long it takes for the animation to complete. So we're going to do 5 seconds. So that's the basic animation, however with all these new CSS properties there's a lot of browser specificity, you have to write browser preset effects as well. So the first one we're going to start with is for each of the transform properties we're going to go Mars, not transform, you know what, make this simpler on us. 
itself. Look at that. Then we're going to do it again. This time, we're going to go MS. So this prefix specifically for Firefox. This one is for Microsoft browsers. Microsoft browsers. And same for what we're going to. Uh, we'll do it this way. Copy the Mars. We're going to 360, so change that one. Now, <clears throat> we have a problem with this at keyframe, and that would be WebKit, which is for both Opera and sorry, Opera and Chrome has their own variation of the keyframe property. So I'm gonna go at dash WebKit dash keyframe. Same thing as this, just with the uh, dash WebKit. We're gonna go spin, which is the same thing. The name of the animation. Now in this, we have to go from again. This time, we need to put prefix it with dash webkit dash transform. Colon, rotate, rotate, y, zero degrees, semicolon. Instead of from, it's two, and we're not going to zero. We're going to 360. Lastly, all these we need to write a specific variation for WebKit as well. So to make this easy, we're going to just copy this block here. For each of them, we're gonna go dash webkit dash. As you can see, webkit's very finicky in the realm of CSS animations. To be completely fair, most of these would probably still work within Chrome without these prefixes, but you can never be too safe. So it's better to wait them, have your animation not work. So that looks good. I'm going to save it. I'm going to close out the demo I showed you in the beginning. And I'm going to open the one we just made to prove to you that it worked. There you have it. If you want the files from today's video, please see the accompanying blog post in the description section. If you found this content helpful, please subscribe, that's a huge help. And if you have any ideas for future videos, please let me know in the comment section. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.